Hi, this is Dixon Jowers, and you're looking at In the Bag 2013 uh, with my new plastic. So uh, I have switched sponsors after many years with Innova. I am now solo sponsored by Dynamic Discs. So I have a completely new bag and a completely new arsenal of discs that I'm throwing. I want to tell you about it. So let's start on the putter end of it. Um, so uh, Dynamic Discs, discs are manufactured by Latitude 64, who also manufactures west side disc and so I'm throwing all three of those companies. Um, I'm putting with the Swan 2. Um, probably could compare it to a magnet. It's just a straight flyer, soft hitter when it goes to the chains. Number two, the hard shell DD Judges. Um, these things are money. If you've uh, played with me in the last several years, you know I do not like throwing putters for anything other than putting. I throw this a bunch. It just goes straight for a long time. Stepping up from that, my mid-range game, it's changed quite a bit. I had a whole lot of rocks in the bag last time. Uh, now I'm kind of doing that with a couple of different discs. First up, I have the Opto Core from Latitude 64. This is my, um, this is my Annie disc. I can carve lines with this thing. It pretty much just does what you want it to do. Uh, if I need a slight bit more stability, uh, I go with the Fuse. Uh, it's a little bit more stable, but I can also turn this one Annie or Heiser if I need to. And then when I need stable mid-range, I go with the zero, I call it a sinus, but I've been told it's actually pronounced sinus, but I'm an American, so I'll call it sinus. Um, this is a very stable mid-range disc. I can jump on it as much as I want, and it's going to go left. Uh, I'm a righty, and so this is a, this is a great disc to have for upshots, uh, tunnels, and if there's a big wind coming at me. Now, probably the disc that I am the most excited about, um, and I can say with... Um, with no falsehood, the escape, I would throw this disc, if I could throw every disc in the world, I could open my bag, I would still throw the escape. Uh, it's a mid-range disc, uh, a little bit less stable than a T-Bird, but it just goes a long way. I've thrown some of my longest drives ever with the escape when I get it just right. Um, so we've got a few different plastics. This is the, D the DD Lucid plastic. And then for my stable escape shots, I use the Biofusion. Um, which is a, it's a different blend of plastics that DD has. Um, it's just a little more stable when they fly. I have two of those in the bag as a just in case. Uh, and then I have this really sweet looking one. This is just a regular fusion plastic and it's kind of in between the two. A little more stable than a Lucid, a little less stable than the Biofusion. Um, and it just goes and goes and goes and goes. If I need a whole lot more stability on my uh, fairway drivers, I go with the Westside Boatman. Um, this guy is just stable. Uh, stable and, and fairway driver range. You can count on it to do uh, exactly what you're trying to get it to do. Now for my long range game, uh, starting out on the flippy side, I use the West Side King. This is a speed 14 disc, um, uh, not very stable, and so I use it for rollers. Uh, if I have to back off of a forehand or if I'm doing some sorts of trick shots, uh, I'll use the King for that. Next up, I go to the Trespass, which is DD's long range driver. Uh, I've got two different ones of these as a just in case backup. Uh, this is the Biofusion plastic as well. I can jump all over this thing and it's going to give me a long straight flight, a little bit of Annie at the start, a little bit of Heiser at the end, but it's going to go a long way. Uh, and then when I need stable, I've got a couple of different options here. Um, for uh, short range stable, a little bit longer than the Boatman, but not quite as long as a high speed driver is the Triple X. This is my headwind disc. I can, I can throw it as hard as I want and it's not doing anything but going straight or hysering out. Uh, if I need a little bit more distance, I'll go with the West Side Giant. Uh, long disc, lots of stability. You can count on it to go hyzer. Uh, and then for pretty much every sort of long shot I need, if I don't need something special, I go um, with a villain. Uh, and what I mean by I don't need something special is if I don't need it to do a trick. If I just want it to go a long way, I can throw this on Annie and it's going to be stable and come back. I can throw it flat and it's just going to go a long way. I can handle the wind. Uh, this was the very first disc that I became really comfortable with when I switched. Um, you can count on this disc. Um, now I'm pulling all of these out of, um, this is just another, another Opto Villain. Um, I'm pulling all these out of my new Dynamic Disc Bag. This thing is incredible. Um, I've always used... Um, Kind of the long bags i've never had a backpack bag before and i'm really really liking this um first of all so that was 17 discs i pulled out of here and i have a towel so there's plenty of space um, so that you can store everything that you need uh, a putter pocket on the side for two putters 
a water holder, you can snap a chair in here, or if you're not using one of these uh, three-pronged chairs, you can stick an umbrella in there. Um, we got a nice, a nice big pocket on the side. I got some course rules, things like that in there, keep it dry. Pencil and Sharpie pocket over here. I've got a cell phone pocket. Um, and then up top, this doesn't look like it's a very big opening here. Um, some guys carry discs in there. I have a hoodie, I have an extra towel, I have headphones, I have snacks. And then on the inside, there's a separate pocket if you need to secure things. So that's where I keep my keys and my wallet, things that can't fall out of the bag. Um, I've got some athletic tape in there. I've got my PDGA rules. Um, and so this, this bag has, has been incredible for me. It rides very high up compared to some of the low hanging bags uh, and it stays real tight to your back. So it feels great. It doesn't feel heavy. Uh, and then they thought of me. They keep calling this a mini pocket, but you know that's not what that pocket's for. That pocket is for the birdie rocks. And look at that, it slides right in. So that's me for 2013 and hopefully into the, into the long future that I'll be throwing this great DD plastic uh, made by Latitude 64. Uh, it's incredible. It feels great. It flies a long way. I'm very happy with what's in my bag, uh, and I look forward to getting better and better every day with this new plastic. Thanks for watching.